hi guys welcome back to our channel so today I am doing a cleaning video and this is cleaning my daughter's bathroom from head to toe so in this video you'll see my eldest and honestly this is her responsibility to keep this bathroom clean because it is a shared bathroom between her and her sisters anyhow in this video I'm basically going over things because I noticed as of late they've been kind of cutting corners and slacking on certain things so I needed to go back in there just to give them a review from top to bottom and just show them what to do so we start by basically taking out things out of the bathroom we need to remove all the washcloths and just anything on the countertops and things that are just not needed I find that this works better obviously you just want to work around thing a clutter free environment so when you remove the things that are not going to stay it's easier to just do what um, is necessary so here she is just putting someone's bath towel together I go in I help her I'm showing her the right way to put it on that rack I know it's a simple task but you know kids don't always have it you know right so so in this next clip you'll see her emptying the garbage and this is not something I typically recommend at this early on in your cleaning because you want to have a bag to obviously throw things in and why throw it in the new one however her, their garbage was overflowing and I was just a bit disgusted by it so, so I had to have her empty it before we got started but that's what I'm doing right now I'm basically explaining the same thing that I just told you guys to her so she knows for next time So now to cleaning the countertops, um, the cleaner that we're using, it's not the Myers one that I bought last time, but this one they had in their bathroom already. It's a Greenworks cleaner, it's non-toxic, it's safe, and I had them use this one for a while because their bathroom is right next to the baby's room, so that way it's just not super um, potent and toxic smelling and whatnot. So I showed her what we do, that we wipe from top to bottom, the cleanest parts, obviously being the countertop the surfaces we wipe down the nozzles and everything we wash those down before we go and wash the sink like I said before these are things that I've taught them before and explained but they weren't always being adapted and you know while I'm not there to pay attention every time they do their things they cut corners so that's why this was needed it's basically a refresher and I thought it'd be a cool video to share with you guys to show you like our cleaning routine and what the kids cleaning routine looks like or should look like. I also want to point out that the cleaning scrubber that she's using is, is actually one of those Mr. Clean all-in-one eraser things that I've shown you guys in the vlogs before. I'm not a big fan of using it to clean surfaces so at some point or another we did switch it out for a regular scrubber. Now moving on to the tub. Um, I'm giving you guys a little overview of what everything else looks like too. So sorry my camera died actually right when we were washing the bathtub so don't have footage of that but I do show you guys that it's finished and like I said we had removed everything before washing so next we're on to the toilets and we just gave it a good cleaning from top to bottom cleaning the cleanest parts of it first and then we progressed down to the bottom and actually cleaning out the toilet. So I do want to add that I like to use like a Clorox wipes for the dirtiest areas and then I usually use a cleaning cloth of some kind. And as for the toilet, I usually like to use just a standard toilet bowl cleaner along with a cleaning agent that has bleach in it. approaching the end of our cleanup I just want to clarify that we did wipe the mirrors um, off camera when the battery had also died so now I'm just 
So now I'm just giving the counter one last clean up just before um, we get to the floors because that's the final thing that you do before heading out of the bathroom. That way they can dry and you don't have to step all over them again. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, after I'll give you guys a little clip of the final product. And here I'm also using a Swiffer. You guys remember in the last home that I showed you, I created my own little pad underneath the bottom of the Swiffer because I find that it cleans better. Uh, you can just get these cloths at the dollar store in like a package and they are, I don't know, they work really well. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little mini video and thanks for watching y'all. So here's a quick glimpse of what the bathroom looks like. Ignore the green tape as my husband's doing some caulking in there at the current moment. But yeah, that's what it looked like. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe and um, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Much love y'all.